Lily, the rival to Asuka Kazama. Lily's a very unique character. She has a great sidestep. Good evasion. Lockdown moves. Good range, however, they are risky. Lily sounds great on paper, but as the seasons go on in Tekken, she has been getting worse as they slowly take away her best game plan, which is Okazeme. Okazeme is simply a follow up option to a mix up or setups for your opponents. Lily has options to get there, but they are placed so sporadically that it's very unorthodox. Without further ado, let's get into why Lily is generally bad. Let's start off with the down 2-2 two -two string, which is a mid-high string that has a high and a mid follow-up. Now, this string is very unrewarding for the last part of the moves, as both of them on counter hit do absolutely nothing. Now, down 2-2 two -two by itself is a jail move, but however, it is minus 10 on block. Down to 2 3 is very solid, but it is minus 3 and it can be dug. Now, down to 2 4, however, it does get pushback, it's not safe at all. It's still minus 17 and very easily punished by down forward 2. Now, her fellow low tier friend Lars, he has a similar string, which is 2 1 4 and 2 1 3. Now 213 on the last hit, it counter hit launches, giving him a good amount of damage. Now what is the punishment on the 213? Only minus 12. Very detrimental to Lilies. Now she has down 44, which is a good move in low and intermediate. However, in high rank, it's very slow and very easy to react to. And it is minus 15. So hit launch. Now I wish at least if you go for this risk it would K and D, that way it could trade off for the whole launch punish. Now down 4 1 is very underwhelming as everyone knows, that is it's terrible, see you can even just backdash out of it. Now for Katarina, you can't even do that, her down 4 1 is pretty solid and generic. As long with Lily's down 4 1, it is sidesteppable, like very, and this includes both directions, it's one of the worst down 4 1s in the game. Whereas where Lily tries to sidestep left Lee's down for a one, she has trouble. And Lee isn't even Zafina or Alyssa, so simple movement will beat it. Now going on to down back three, it does have it is a homing high that counter hit launches. Sounds really good, right? But it is minus eight and literally has no range whatsoever. Now Julia has a similar 18 frame move, but at least it's plus one and you know, she has a magic four, so good damage. Lily's up back one is a 16 frame counter hit launcher and it's a negative five on block. This sounds very good. However, it is very linear and it has zero range whatsoever. So even using moves as down 4 3, you can't even lock down the opponent as they can backdash or simply sidestep and launch you. Lily's 4 2 3 is a great 12 frame punish as it has good range and K and D's. However, you cannot hit confirm it at all even though it is negative 15 on block. So I wish this could be changed to negative 14 at least. Quarter circle 3 plus 4, one of the moves that had the biggest change in season 3 as it used to K and D and obviously it was always plus 6 on the block as a trade off now, but it doesn't even K and D on counter hit and because of that ballerina spin this sometimes could leave you not to wall split at the wall. Patch 3.30, Lily got her back turn transition to go 4 frames faster and 4 3 is good as it gives a counter hit launch, but this doesn't put her on the same level as other characters. 
Overall, Lily has various tools that help with Oki, but with everything now being focused towards her neutral, it makes the character worse as it takes away her strong mind game upon wake up when she needs those moves to be on par with other characters. Along with her janky hitbox that still needs to be changed, it just makes it very detrimental to play Lily. Hopefully for season 4, Lily can get her great K and B back with her amazing unorthodox gymnastic fighting style. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace.